Hey y'all, good morning. Good morning. My name is Sharon Gorecki and I am here with my co-host, Captain Matthew Tidman of Hamden Corps. And on today's episode, we're gonna talk about what's going around Central Maryland and Captain Tidman will share some stories, facts, and interesting anecdotes about the camp experience. Now let's get started. If you are in need of fresh free food, visit our website, www.sa-md.org and click on Pantry on the Go. So we have a strong partnership with the Maryland Food Bank to provide fresh produce. It's like a week's worth of fresh produce for you all around Central Maryland, but just visit our website and get the details and it's all free. Free, no money involved. You just go in, drive in, and drive out with a couple bags of fresh food to feed your family. Next point, our Play More, Feed More golf tournament, which Captain Tidman played. I think he played well. I played okay. You played okay. That's pretty good. We kept it around par. That was the important part. It was a big success. Woohoo! Woohoo! So we raised over $80,000. We netted $62,000. And all proceeds will go directly to our Feed More mobile canteen. That's awesome. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. And um, Captain Tidman is helming the wheel on Fridays because we're expanding our Feed More mobile canteen. All proceeds will increase uh, 200 extra meals per week. We have three extra stops in mm -hmm. West Baltimore. We're expanding. We're expanding our resources, we're trying to get to you if you are in need of food. What are your thoughts, Captain? You know, we have seen a great success already from just the first couple weeks. We've only been doing this for, this is our fourth week. Today will mark week number four that we've been going out. Really? And um, That's cool. And yeah, we've been seeing some success. It started off a little bit slow, but you know, we went from serving 38 people to over 100 people just on our one night. Wow. Uh, last week, we served 85 people and actually ran out of food because we didn't have enough because it was so popular. And so we've definitely come back to the growing board. So let's bring a little bit more this week to make sure we can meet the needs because there's a lot of hungry people out there. There's a lot of hungry people and we're always wanting more donations to help mm -hmm. the people. So visit www.sa-md.org. You can donate to our Play More, Feed More golf tournament all year round because you know all of the proceeds are going directly to the people. So on other news, are you interested in learning how to budget, cook, and handle your family matters? Honestly, we have like a million life skill classes you can take and it's free. It's open to the public. We have experts from Fulton Bank. We have experts who know disaster training. We have the whole nine yards. And these are free courses you can take. Just go to our website, www.sa-md.org, and you can register for any class. And this is actually brand new information, brand new news. The Salvation Army has created a young professionals group called Baltimore Echelon. So you're thinking, what is Baltimore Echelon? Let me tell you what it is. This is basically a professional group where you get to meet like-minded individuals, leaders in the making once a month, do volunteering, do fundraising, and do some exclusive social events, all for doing the most good. If you're interested in becoming a part of our leadership group, you can visit our website, www.sa-md.org, to sign up. And if you are a senior above the age of 65 and you have mobility issues, some financial issues, and you're having a hard time getting food to your house, you qualify for our CSFP, Commodity Supplemental Food Program. The Salvation Army teams up with the USDA Meals on Wheels and the Department of Aging to bring a week's worth of fresh, nutritious food to your home. It's all delivered. All you have to do is call Meals on Wheels at 410-558-0932 to be a part of the list. And tomorrow is a exciting day for the Salvation Army because we're going to the Emmys. We're going to the Emmys. We're going to the Emmys. Mm -hmm. We're taking the show on the road, sort of, kind of, but mm -hmm. we'll let you know in the next episode. 
what happens. Yeah, and why are we going to the Emmys exactly? Because our communication team is nominated for having, for our documentary Hope is on the Way, which mm -hmm. you can watch for free if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Red Shield of Central Maryland. Now, I know you've been doing a lot of preparation for this, haven't you, Sharon? I have. So I have a funny story to share. So I didn't know what to wear. I didn't know how to do my hair, makeup, or anything. So I went to our Salvation Army in Howard County, and I had 10 amazing women above the age of 65 give me help and assistance, and they individually curated my entire outfit. They picked the shoes, they picked the dresses, they picked the earrings and the bangles because I didn't know what I was doing, and I needed wise advice from the best, and they are the best stylists I've ever met. I'm looking forward to seeing this. It No, it looks great. Okay. They did such a great job that if you go to the Howard County thrift store for like a prom fitting, even a wedding fitting, you have like 10 experts. They just want to help and they're the best. I want to go back there again mm -hmm. for whatever event happens. You know, one of the nice things about being Salvation Army officer is I already know I'm going in uniform, so I don't have to worry about all that. He doesn't have to worry. This is what he's going to be wearing. He's going to look great. We're all going to look great. Mm-hmm. So, as I'll, oh, one more thing about the documentary that I forgot to mention. If you've watched the documentary, guess who makes an appearance at the end? Captain Tidman's ringing the bell. It's pretty cool. So, Camp Rappahannock is in full swing starting this week. It started this past week. Yep, started cool. on Monday. And I know that our Boys and Girls Club in Glen Burnie and in Middle River and in Franklin Square will be celebrating Boys and Girls Club Week at summer camp from July 3rd through July 8th this year. Plus, I don't think you may know this, but our Boys and Girls Club, we have 60 youth, 60 youth registered for summer camp, and it is the most in the Potomac Division, actually. We go hard. We do. So Captain Tidman has the most experience with summer camp than I know. He's been in the Salvation Army m more than anyone I know. So he's the expert in all things Salvation Army and camp. And he is going to spit some facts, cool facts and interesting tidbits for you and stories. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about camp first. Um, these are one week camp experiences that we're doing through the entire summer. Like we said, we started this week. We're going to go each week. Um, and basically, kids have the opportunity for a flat fee of only $25 going and spending the week at camp doing great stuff, great fun stuff, um, craft work. They get to learn how to swim. Um, they get to have worship services for a lot of them, um, all kinds of fun activities, different sports they get to play. I know that the Gaga Ball Pit is one of the favorites at this camp. What's a Gaga Ball Pit? It's, it's an interesting thing. It's kind of like a mix between handball and um and um oh gosh what would i what do i connect it with it's like a mix between handball and dodgeball whoa yes um and it's in a little pit and so you're you're knocking the ball around time to get other people out and so it's a lot of fun uh, the kids <laughs> always love it games go really quickly that so you can cool. play six or seven games in just a couple of minutes but it's a lot of fun and you know i know that a lot of the kids like it and it's when I was there last year, our group that we were with wanted to go do Gaga Ball Pit every single time that we had um, activity time. So. Who needs pickleball? You have mm -hmm. Gaga Ball. Um, and so, you know, all that kind of stuff. And really, that's life altering for a lot of these kids. Um, thousands of kids each year get a fresh perspective on life because we're taking them out of their element. We're putting them into a new element, one they, they may not have had the opportunity to see before. Um, it's amazing how you can see the changes in the lives of these kids, even from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. Um, you get to see kids who um, have never experienced life outside of their homes, life outside of their own communities, come to see that there's a much wider world that they get to interact in and get to learn what it's like and why it's important to um, really work together with others rather than just kind of doing their own thing. Um, we have Camp Rappahannock. It's Rappahannock Camp and Conference Center. It was formerly Camp Happy Land, but they've changed the name uh, because they want to make sure that we know that it's more than just a camp. It's an opportunity for people to come and do learning opportunities there as well during the rest of the year when camp is not in session. And it's about 70 miles south of Washington, D.C. 
Uh, it's in Richardsville, Virginia. So if you're going south of D.C., you come to Fredericksburg and you get off at Fredericksburg and you drive for another 30 minutes and you're there basically. Um, but it is a great opportunity for all the campers from the D.C. area, from Washington. Uh, I'm saying D.C. twice here. Goodness gracious. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, from the Virginia, from Maryland, from the West Virginia. Metropolitan all area. of the All of the Potomac Division. Yeah, Potomac, Potomac Division. Division. Kids to come together. In fact, that's going on right now. I know my wife, Captain Laura Tidman, is at camp right now because they're doing music camp. Um, they have the, the week of camp that's all dedicated to music. In fact, she was telling me last night they um, they had two different uh, band rehearsals that they had to go to during the course of the night because they're preparing for this Saturday because this Saturday they're going to have a concert to show off everything that they have really? learned. Really? Yes. That's exciting. Yes. Um, and wow. so they're, they're preparing for that concert right now. But, you know... We have all kinds of different camp experiences. We have music camp, like I was just talking about. We have uh, cabin camping, like what we normally think of when we think of Salvation Army camps. And then we have what I'm going to be doing next week, which is going to be our teen camp, which is more of an outdoor camp. Oh, wow. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, so what's, I, I'm not a camp expert, but what is more interesting about the teen portion? So in the teen portion, it's much closer to kind of backcountry camping. So what you think of when really? you think of like backpacking. Now, it's not, we're not taking these these 14 to 18 year olds and strapping a backpack on and making them march 20 miles a day and set up everything. It's not not that extreme. That's funny, but that it's would, not going to That would be a little that. extreme. That's no, uh, it is it is still in the camp proper. But one of the nice things about Camp Rampanic is that it's huge. We yes. have a very nice uh, developed side. And then we have what's called the wild side, which is more of a tent experience. There's a, a lake over there. It's I, We call it a lake. It's probably just a very large pond if you really want to think of it that way. But um, and the thing about teen camp that's really nice is it's a lot more free flowing. Um, there's lots of activities that we do, uh, but it's really about giving the teens agency and what they want to do and giving them challenges to overcome. So some of the things that are going to happen is we have um, it's it's really fun. It's a bow and arrow game but instead of being real arrows it's like paintball arrows and so <laughs> they have little little paint things on the end of them on a nice soft thing and so you're shooting arrows at other people and so it's kind of like a mix between archery and paintball but the kids have a ton of fun i said kids the teams have a ton of fun it doing sounds it sounds like a lot of fun yes i think um, for adults too i mean it's paint it's a cool version of paintball. Yes. Yeah. And so, and then we do, we do have hiking times. We have a great hiking area over there. Um, they're going to learn about setting up outdoors if they're ever trapped outdoors, how to set up an emergency shelter, how to take care of themselves. They're going to hopefully learn how to cook some camp food. We're still working on what that's going to look like. But, you know, it's always good to have a couple of meals that you can kind of pull out of your back pocket if you're ever outdoors and, and know what you're going to make. Um, they're going to learn how to pitch tents. They're going to to have opportunities to go swimming and fishing. Uh, we're going to do a canoe trip down the Rappahannock Ooh, River really? one day. Yes. That's so exciting. all kinds of fun stuff. And it's a great opportunity. Um, and one that really, um, it's amazing how much they're getting to do just for $25 that's for that $25. entire week. $25. Yeah. That's like a new t-shirt. Mm-hmm. A new T-shirt, that's $25. Well, and I've heard tell that all the teens that are going to teen camp get their very own special teen camp hat that nobody else at camp gets, just the ones that are going to this. So, Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, there's a lot of exciting stuff going on. Um, so, yeah, um, we, we do it because we know that camp changes lives. Um, camp is a life-changing experience for a lot of kids. And you'd be amazed at the number of people that you'll run into that if you ask them will tell you when they were younger, yeah, I did go to camp with, with the Salvation Army or somebody else when I was younger. Um, and it's an opportunity we have because it really um, it helps us break down a lot of barriers that people set up when we're in kind of more, um, more regular environments, you know. So what I know about camp is when you're a child and you're at home, you follow what your parents say, mm -hmm. you go to bed at a certain time, you're prepared meals, everything is done for you. But when you're at camp, it's all on you to follow your own itinerary, the correct schedule, to because your day to day is jam packed with activities. Mm -hmm. But it's up to the kid to be independent, self reliant and confident because there will be certain activities that scare the kid mm -hmm. or the child. 
but they have to do the activity each day. Absolutely. It's confidence. You know, and it's just, it's just such a wonderful experience. You know, um, I know I keep coming back to that, but growing up, some of my fondest memories of the summer are summers that I spent at camp, friendships that I made at camp, um, the opportunities I had to learn new things. Um, I still tie many, many different kinds of knots because of learning how to tie knots when I was at camp. Um, and I'm going to be probably teaching knot tying to a lot of these That's kids exciting. this week. So they learn how to tie things like a bowline knot and a sheet bend and um, learning what an overhand knot is and all of that kind of stuff. And so uh, it's a great opportunity. I was, I've been spending a lot of time kind of just brushing up and reminding myself of things, watching different camping things on YouTube. And I am super pumped for this next week. Yes. Um, I just ordered the last of my extra little pieces of kit yesterday. And so now all I have to do is make sure that everything is packed up and ready to go for Monday when I head over to camp. That's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It really is. And there we have it. The Salvation Army is excited to send our kids. Captain Tidman is excited to teach our kids. Our future mm -hmm. leaders are at summer camp. Oh, hey, we forgot one thing about summer camp. What did we forget? So on our YouTube channel, we have a video about Kyrie, and Kyrie gets to tell you about their first experience of going to camp. So if you want to hear what it's like first time going to camp for one of these kids, head over to our YouTube page and, and watch that video because it's a great opportunity to see what it's like for somebody who may not have had that opportunity to go to camp before. The Red Shield of Central Maryland YouTube page. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. There are so many great stories and tales and intriguing moments that you will witness mm -hmm. of how the Salvation Army changes lives. Absolutely. And on that note, stay tuned for next week to learn more about what's going on around Central Maryland. Bye, y'all. Bye.